Hello, Scorpio gang. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Hey, 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 hey. Happy birthday. Happy early birthday. Happy belated birthday. I just came to share some oracle messages with you. Um, whenever you get these messages, if they resonate, they're for you. There's not a certain time frame for these messages. So, messages for my Scorpio friends, please. Okay. Pandora's gift. Follow your own rhythm. I feel like somebody is looking at you as like... Your wisdom, the wisdom that you bring into the relationship or into the friendship or the business partnership is like a gift from the heavens. Um, people admire the way that you move to the beat of your own drum. They admire the way that you are free to love whoever you want to love without any judgment. And so um, I feel like there is some advice for some Scorpios to be that way. To do what you want to do. Do what your spirit is calling you to do. Move how your heart is telling you to move. Love who you want to love. Um, you have a lot of ancestral wisdom that you carry right now. Um, like your ancestors. The blood. The blood. The blood covers you. <laughs> Whether you believe in the blood of Jesus covering you or the blood of your ancestors, the tears and blood that your ancestors shed, the sweat, it, the blood runs through you. It's like, yeah, ancestral DNA, data, data that was passed down from your great grandparents to your grandparents, down to your parents, and then down to you. You can trust it. Um... And you need to understand that they are with you. Realize the truth that you are made up of them. So there's a legacy of light that you you hold. Like people feel like you are very mature for your age. They feel like you have an old soul, an old spirit about you. It's some type of way about you, but it's a beautiful light that you possess, a beautiful light that you carry. The spirit wants you to realize who you are and who you come from. The frequency of realization supports the internal process of becoming aware of our heart-centered truth, as well as the external process of becoming our highest expression in this world. So be the best you that you can be because people are definitely watching and there is some sort of spiritual connection that you hold. Um, some of you could be rappers. There's a spiritual connection that you hold to the past but it's your family's past your family's history something about your family's legacy that you need to realize again realize who you are and what royalty you hold in your blood i can't figure out another fancy way to put it but it's like somebody here has a royal bloodline you don't know who you are and you really need to realize who you are so that you can properly carry this legacy of light. This legacy that you, the whatever you've been left to do or called to do, your grandparents, your parents, then you. It's like something being passed down from generation to generation. Maybe your mom didn't quite make it or your dad didn't quite make it with holding this legacy. Something about you guys. Your family could be psychics. Your family could have been um, singers, rappers, some type of a superstar, or have this superstar energy, but nobody is carrying through. It's like, I feel poetry, rapping, singing, storytelling with the throat chakra and follow your own rhythm. I feel like someone here is being called to sing about their their trauma, their hurt, their pain, their love life, their creative endeavors. 
I feel like you're being called, you're being led to sing a song for somebody. There's somebody that's going through these things that you experience, that you are going through. It, they're just flying by you like a breeze. You're not having any trouble with these things. But there's another person that is feeling trapped by the same things that you are going through or that you have been through. And they just need to hear your song. They really need to hear your song, whether it's rapping or singing, they, they need to hear it so that they can be set free and that they can dance again and follow their own rhythm by believing in the words that you put out so for somebody they need to exercise their throat chakra so that you can be vocal for the people around you that are going through things that could benefit from listening to your um to your words that you write sing rap read poetry something a playwright you could be about to write a story that's going to be on tv seen by millions of people and it can change so many people's life if you just exercise using your voice the frequency of the throat chakra the blue flower of life supports our self-expression and our sense of peace and balance so more of follow your own rhythm more of free from judgment free to love more of that energy with exercising our throat chakra. Pandora's gift. It's like you possess something. All you have to is something that you possess that you don't even realize. Or you probably do know it. You probably you just didn't open that box yet. You need to open up that box. Not that thought box, but that voice box. Don't open up your legs. 